Hello, welcome to Solstice. In this video, we will learn how to sign up to Solstice, design our faith survey, deploy it, and then have it ready in our devices for data collection. Let's say I'm a new user to Solstice and I want to create a survey. The first thing I do, I navigate the Solstice website, which is www.solstice.org. So this is where all the survey design, management, visualization, and sharing can happen. Once I'm on this page, all I need to do is click the sign up button if I don't already have an account and fill a few information uh, such as name, a uh, username, make sure you put a unique username, and then put your pass, your email address and your organization. We also recommend that you enter the organization you are working for so that we can better connect users to those organizations together and assist them as much as possible. After that, please also confirm that you are at least 13 years of age and then click on confirm. When you do that, we land to the Solstice homepage. You can see at the top button that there are different tabs that we can navigate through. And today we are only going to concentrate on the Surveys tab. So what you have to do is click on the Surveys tab. And after clicking on the Surveys tab, we are going to click on Create a new survey. After clicking on Creating a new survey, you can see that there are also uh, different tabs that have opened up here on top. So um, we are not going to use all of them today, but I would like to take you through a few. The first one is design, This the design tab. This is where we are at the moment, and we are going to use this to design our survey. The second one is translate. So the admin of the survey can translate the survey so that the enumerators, when they're on field, they can access this survey in another language. So if you want to translate this, you use the translate uh, tab. And you can either translate it online or you can download it in XLS form, translate it, and then upload the XLS form again with the translation. And you have the translation, the translated version on a motor. The third one is the preview tab. The preview tab is to have the view of the survey, the way the enumerators will be able to see the survey in their devices. And after that, we have the settings tab. So, the settings tab, you can use it to add confidential data and collaborators of the survey. So anything you do on the setting tab affects the survey level permissions. So you can add other collaborators who can design the survey with you, or maybe you want them to be able to view the survey, but they won't have any effect in designing the survey. So remember that this does not activate the survey to any group of users or enumerators, or it does not make the, sur the survey appear into other people's devices. For you to be able to do that, you have to go to the next tab, which is deploy, and deploy it to the users. So let us go back to design tab and start designing our survey. So uh, let's say the first thing to do is to give a name to our survey and today we are going to call um to name our survey as uh have facility staff interview and then save it after that we are going to add questions so for you to add questions to your survey you click on the add button and then select what you want to add. So let's say you want to add a new question. And our question, our first question will be a site question because we want to add these uh, health facilities as sites on our, on our survey. This is the data that you want to collect. And then we are going to name um, this question as, let's say, health facility and then save this question. And then we're going to add another another question. For example, um, we want to know the gender of the respondent. Gender, so this is a radio button question and our choices are going to be female. 
male and let's say other after that let's say this is a compulsory question so we click on the require answer and then save this question and let's say we want to add another question let's say um education level so highest level of education acquired and this is a text question where the enumerator will type with the text their highest level of education but as you can see there are so many different types of questions with a motor so you always choose or pick a question type depending on the requirement of the survey and let's say this is also a required answer that a numerator must answer this question after that we we'll solve it so it will depend with the number of questions that you want to have on your survey you keep on doing the same add as many questions as possible until you have all the questions that we collect all the data that you want to enumerate us to collect from the field after setting up your survey then what you have to do is deploying it to enumerators so as i had explained it before you click on the deploy tab after clicking on the deploy tab we want to deploy it to specific enumerators we know these enumerators so we want to we want to deploy this so i'm already the admin i'm going to proceed so the survey title here on enumerators i can write the name the username of these uh, enumerators so i write and then they appear after they appear i click on that username and also put as many enumerators depending with my number of enumerators and after that i click on save after clicking on save it means i've already saved um, this survey and before proceeding i have to give a title to this deployment so let's say this is for health, health workers and then after that i save so i've already deployed this survey and you go to your sources account login your username and password the same one that you had set when you're creating your sources account and then after that you click on login after logging in please select standard user because you don't have any custom version of a motor then we already signed in so we can all already start a survey by clicking on start a survey and then <clears throat> when you click on start a survey you'll be able to see all the uh, surveys that you have access to in solstice and then we are going to select our healthcare facility staff interview and then fill in the information in the survey then after that you click submit when you submit it then the data manager will be able to see the information on sources so that's how you can create your new accounts on sources design your fed survey and deploy it to enumerators so that they can access them on their device and then that is how enumerators can access the survey on their device and that is how they can fill in information and submit the survey so i hope this video has helped you in setting a new account please feel free to contact us if you have any question our email is displayed on your screen thank you till next time bye